Corporate restructuring in Korea's troubled shipping and shipbuilding industries is picking up steam. Now, this comes while the um, once mighty Hanjin shipping appears unlikely to receive financing from its creditors. Our Shin Samin sheds light on the wind of change blowing this way. Korea's finance minister Yoo Bil Ho said the government has to stick to principle when dealing with companies in Hanjin's situation and go ahead with its corporate restructuring drive. In Parliament Thursday, the finance minister added that government can't even let such companies go into court receivership because the government can't keep throwing taxpayers' money to help normalize their businesses. And more bad news for Hanjin Shipping. Industry sources say its main creditor, the state-run Korea Development Bank, is unlikely to extend more credit to the shipper without collateral from its parent group. A local court had asked for the creditors to lend money for Hanjin's outstanding bills, which are holding up cargo shipments worldwide. But even a 90 million U.S. dollar pledge from the Hanjin Group chairman himself wasn't enough to convince lenders to open their wallets. In fact, they said that's far shy of what Hanjin needs to operate normally. Alongside the government's corporate restructuring drive, the finance ministry has laid out plans to downsize the shipbuilding industry. By 2018, the government will push to cut facilities by 20 percent and manpower by 30 percent at Hyundai Heavy Industries, Samsung Heavy Industries, and Taeu Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. This will trim oversupply and leave the overall size of industry at the level of two major firms based on current capacity. Finance Minister Yoo Bil Ho said that it will consistently push through the industry overhaul, adding that the next two years will be vital in breathing new life into the economy. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.